Hi everyone, this is Brian at Provision Studios, and today I'm going to make a video that is a follow up to my In the Mix episode 17 video where I showed how to take contact from native instruments and put it into Harrison Mix Bus and use it uh, through a, a MIDI track. Um, someone asked a question could you show us how to do the multi out? through that same process. So today's video is going to uh, pretty much pick up where I left off in that episode 17. Um, so uh, I'm probably not going to show everything that I did in, in the previous video. Um, so if there's some stuff that you're not understanding, please go back watch episode 17, which is a precursor to this video and then you'll be fully up to speed and be able to understand where we're at now. And then for you guys that uh, asked for this, um, let me know if you have any questions uh, after you watch this video and uh, we'll uh, see if you know, there's how much more detail we can get drilled, that, drilled into from this. So um, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so here we are inside a mix bus. Um, first thing you want to do if you want to use a multi output for native instruments contact is you have to create a MIDI track so that's what we're gonna do we're going to take a stereo MIDI track using the uh, contact instrument and I'm going to use the add and close feature that way when I hit add and close it's going to give me my track then it's going to close this add track slash bus slash VCA window because I don't need it anymore all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this plug-in setup window that comes in it may not come in right away come up right away you might have to wait maybe four or five seconds like I just did here but eventually this will pop up and this is the key to getting the multi out uh, setup. You see here it says configure plugin contact 5. All right, output configuration. If you leave it on automatic and click add, you're only going to see this one track that you created. What you want is you want to scroll down to 16 channels and then you'll see fan out here is no longer grayed out. If you put automatic fan out is grayed out there's nothing you can do with it it's not selectable if once you hit 16 channels then this becomes selectable you'll see that blue light goes on and off you want the blue light to be on which means what's going to happen now is it's going to fan out 16 channels after your instrument track that has just been generated so you got 16 channels fan out selected and then you click add and your session will become populated with those track groups so you can see we've got um, audio out one from contact all the way to audio out 16 so there's our 16 tracks all right now we want to put some instruments into our contact player so we open up our virtual instrument player contact we select an instrument let's say uh, I just select a couple of these alright so we got four instruments selected and if you don't see this window here the outputs window it's right in, in, in it can be found here if your window normally looks like this when you put an instrument in then just go up here to the third icon on the on the contact tab one two three over and then you select outputs you're going to need it for what we're about to do next. All right. On each of the, how many, every, on however many instruments you have, select the I button to give you the information for each track. And then you'll notice I've got my MIDI channel 1, MIDI channel 2, MIDI channel 3, and MIDI channel 4. Depending on how you have your system set up with MIDI controllers, that might benefit you me I I have one controller so therefore I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select all mine to channel one so that my 
channel one controller is going to control all four instruments. Next thing that you want to do is you want to go to your output for each instrument. You can see it's stereo one is the is the selected output for each one. That's fine, but what that's going to do is that's going to do this. All right, make sure our input is our MIDI controller, which in my case is the Keystation Pro 88. Make sure your monitoring in is on. All right, and now I'm going to go to my keyboard. All right, notice that everything went to audio out one and two. All right, so that's fine, but that's what we did in the last video. The question was, how do we route them out to multi-outputs? This is how you do it. You go to your output, you select the Create Separate Master Output Channel. So we got Cold Forces, Freeway Star, Frozen Guitar Monics, and hell spawn all right so we got those four all created right here you can see they are all routed still to one two which is not accomplishing anything so you click on them then this window is going to open up you'll see the channel name is cold forces you can change that here if you want if you want to call it let's say um uh audio three four and then what you do is you go to your physical out you can see we can click here and it's going to give us other options so I'm going to click aux 1 and then aux 1 2 and click OK so now audio 3 4 has 3 4 for its uh, its output and we'll do it for the next one maybe call this audio Five six. We take aux, We'll select aux two this time. So we'll take aux one and aux two out of it. So now we've got five and six, and same on to the next two. Aux three one, aux three two. Okay. So we got that. The final one, and we'll just leave it hell spawn. We'll do aux four one and aux four two. Or actually, let's do uh, that's it. Okay, so we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So if I play it now. You'll notice that each track is going to its own pair. So um, if you go into in the instrument, and let's say we solo just Cold Forces. Cold Forces is audio 3, 4. So you'll know 3 and 4 are right here. This one and this one. You'll see just those two light up now. And we'll hear just Cold Forces. And also, if I went and instead of that, I did Freeway Star, which happens to be Audio 5 6. Again, 5 is here, 6 is here. And I went over to my keyboard and played. And that would be the same for each one. Um, so that would be the way if you wanted to route your uh, instrument to m multiple channels, that would be the way to multi out uh, Contact 5 in Harrison Mix Bus. All right, so there you have it. We've uh, taken a uh, MIDI track, put contact on it, had it to be multi out, 
and then how to route our different instruments that are put in on contact uh, through the contact player to different tracks. Um, let me know if you guys have any more questions about that. You can uh, leave a question in the comment section below. You can email me bbuck822 at gmail.com or you can go to my website www.provisionstudios.com when you get there you click on the contact tab and that'll allow you to fill out uh, a sheet that'll send me a message with you know your question or comment and I'll be able to get back to you that way um, uh, thank you all for watching um, if you could subscribe like and share that would be great much appreciated and until then I'll see you guys soon bye bye now